there, history buffs. Today, let's dive into the legacy of Bill Clinton and what people think about him in 2024. Bill Clinton, the 42nd president of the United States, served from 1993 to 2001. He was known for his charismatic personality, economic policies, and of course, some pretty significant controversies. So what's the public opinion on Bill Clinton nowadays? It's a mixed bag. Many people still admire his economic achievements. During his presidency, the U.S. experienced its longest peacetime economic expansion. Unemployment rates dropped and the budget saw a surplus. Folks who lived through that era often recall the 90s as a prosperous time. But let's not forget the shadow of the Lewinsky scandal. It led to his impeachment in 1998, though he was acquitted by the Senate. This scandal still taints his legacy for many. Interestingly, recent polls show a generational divide. Older Americans who lived through his presidency tend to have a more favorable opinion of him. They remember him as a skilled politician who navigated the post-Cold War landscape effectively. Younger generations, however, have a more nuanced view. They weigh his policy successes against his personal failings more critically. For them, the scandal and issues like the 1994 crime bill, which led to mass incarceration, are significant points of contention. On the global stage, Clinton is often remembered for his efforts in international diplomacy. He played a key role in the Northern Ireland peace process and laid the groundwork for future Middle East negotiations. For many outside the U.S., these efforts bolster his reputation. In recent years, Clinton has been relatively low profile, but he's still active in philanthropy through the Clinton Foundation. This work has garnered both praise and scrutiny, affecting public opinion further. So what's the verdict in 2024? Bill Clinton remains a complex figure, admired by some for his economic and diplomatic achievements, but criticized by others for personal and policy-related controversies. The ongoing debates about his legacy reflect the broader conversations we have about leadership and accountability. And that, my friends, is what makes history so fascinating. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives into history. Catch you in the next one.